What's up guys? Welcome back. So as you've seen, got the coffee ready, got the cigar ready here. Put it on this side, smoke's going in my face. Um, so this is the one I was smoking the other day. I bought two of them, one for me, one for my dad. When my dad's been busy with work, hasn't been able to smoke it, so guess what? I'm smoking it today. I'll buy him another one. This one here is called San Lotano. It is a Connecticut by AJ Fernandez. Last time I smoked it, I was more focused on being in the pool. I let it die. I thought it was still lit. It was not the best experience. Once I figured it out, cut it down, just relit it. It was great. But by then, by then the sun was out. I mean, heat, this thing just overheated. That is not the cigar's fault. That's my fault because I was more too focused on trying to get in the pool, trying to tan, all that kind of stuff to where I left it alone for too long. As it is right now, like last time when I first started it, I mean, it was great. Boom, lit up right away to Connecticut, wasn't too spicy. I had tried another one a couple days before that. There was a, I think it was called My Father, um, very spicy, boom, right from the start. It was still a Connecticut, very mild, but I mean, the pepper, if it just, I just feel like I had that, that kind of like spiciness on my tongue right away from hitting it. And with this one, I have a little bit of it, but it's pleasant. You know, I got the coffee, so it's a good mixture there. Just, you know, espresso grind like you've seen, but definitely a good pairing. You know, with that being said, great smoke, the draw is not too tight, not too loose, pretty much in the middle. Um, I mean, you can cut it different ways and, and, and do that. Anyways, so I changed my shirt, got the cigar, got the coffee, you know, just gonna relax here. But I did wanna talk about something, nothing specific. <laughs> I guess like I was saying earlier, where I kinda wanna take these videos in the direction to, I mean, me personally, not trying to be a motivational speaker, not trying to be a motivational anything, Right. Let alone <laughs> barely motivate myself, you know, but that's the big thing. Trying to get myself back into the routine of thinking positively, doing positive things, helping others, reaching out to others, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's very easy, especially for me on my off days to want to focus 100 percent on myself. Right. It's an off day. Day away from work. Focus on yourself would be like the, you know, the initial thing to think about. Right. But how good do I feel when I just focus on myself? and do these things, you know, whatever I'm doing for myself. I don't know, not too great. I mean, it's fulfilling for the moment. If I'm working out, if I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But how well do I feel when I go to sleep at night? I don't know, not too fulfilling. So trying to see what I can give back into this whole, whole big thing. It's called life or earth or whatever. Like I said, work is awesome. You know, could be better, could be worse. But for the moment where we're at now, For the moment where I'm at now, I mean, it's great. You know, I love talking to people, love selling cars. If I, I'd be lying if I said I haven't thought about switching into a different industry or switching jobs or whatever it is, you know, but at the end of the day, I think about it. I'm like, man, I'd be so bored doing something else. You know, I love, if you have me on social media, the little videos, you know, talking to customers. And the biggest, biggest thing I love, if anything, <clears throat> is when a customer comes in, I don't know the customer, right? They either A, hate me because, you know, salespeople have bad raps. Um, and or B, they're scared just because they know about their whatever their situation is, right, man? They're not gonna, they think they're not gonna get approved. Uh, they think they're gonna have to put a crazy amount of down payment or they think they're gonna need a co-signer, whatever it is, right? Um, and then we get all the way through the process and at the end of the day, we can get them in a vehicle and or we can better the situation in whatever vehicle they're in already or better their, you know, uh, interest rate, all that kind of stuff. You know, me personally, that's awesome, right? You know, um, yeah, sure, I get a sale, I get paid for it, but uh, being able to be part of, you know, somebody's one of the biggest purchases in somebody's life, you know, that's awesome to really think about, you know. So that's kind of why I've still stuck around, why I'm sticking around. But with that being said, I am trying to find something bigger, right? Yeah, uh, money's great, all that kind of stuff. Health is great, all that kind of stuff, you know. Things I'm very thankful for, for the opportunity I've been put in, you know. Um, but... I just feel like there's something missing. What's up, player? What you get? Come show the come show the camera. Come show the lovely camera people. Take a seat. We have the young. We have the young Bert. Show us what you have here, sir. Some 4D blocks that we're gonna taste. Damn, bro. Or some ash it. He just told me to ash it. Let's see if it stands. What if are you stands, talking about? If it stands up. Where's the ashtray at? Oh, it's right here. We got the ashtray. What are we What are we doing? See if it stands up. What Straight. Yeah. 
No, but you have to tap it. That's, oh, that's not good at all. I mean, again, I, I'm burning it all weird. Why'd you do that, dude? At, that's uneven now. I know it's uneven, you see? <clears throat> I should have left it alone. Oh, well. I'm going to try these. Mm hmm? What is it? 40 bucks. Gummy bears. Some Takis. Some Takis. And some tape. And some masking tape. It's a weird combination of things yeah. to buy, bro. <laughs> I felt awkward whenever I went up to the lady. I was going to add like a drink or something. I was like, uh -huh. Oh, uh, let's go paint. See you later. Bye, buddy. That was my little brother. He's doing, um, he's been doing like uh, wood woodwork or something like that, where he makes like these wood uh, uh, wood designs, paints them. He's been selling them. It's been pretty good. And we'll go show you right now. But yes, guys, I've been trying to find something bigger. I feel like something is missing. So we're going to, you're going to go on an adventure with me. If you're going to watch consistently, you're going to come on an adventure. We're going to figure out what is missing, or we're just going to see um, if I figured out along the way. Appreciate it. Keep watching. I'm going to finish this cigar because I don't want this to be a cigar review and I kind of want to sit back and enjoy it. So see you on a little bit.